I can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. All right, question 95 over here, the 12th question in the second set of chapter 10. It says, the slender rod has a mass of 4 kilograms per meter. Determine the moment of inertia of the assembly about an axis perpendicular to the page and passing through point A. What is really saying it is, you know, the page is going, I guess, this way, so the perpendicular would be a horizontal axis at A, right, that crosses over A. All right, well, first we can definitely calculate the mass of each beam over here. There's one over here and one over here, right? So they're equal length, so that's 4 kg times, oh, I mean, sorry, 4 kilograms over meters times, well, 0 0.2 meters, right? Yeah, that gave us 0 0.8 uh, kilograms per beam. And the the central gravity for um, for this thing for one beam it is um, half times the weight the mass of the uh, beam and times the uh, length of the beam and that your hopefully professor will give it to you and also so uh, we can I mean with our experience, we know that the centroid is over here, right, for this uh, beam, and the centroid is also over here for this beam over here. However, we're doing a vert, I mean, horizontal axis. We're not doing a vertical axis, right? If, you know, it says that that axis is uh, parallel to the page and passing through point A, then we just have to use this equation over here. However, we're, u we're doing the horizontal, that means the centroid is not aligned, right? It, it doesn't share a common axis. Therefore, we have to use the parallel axis theorem. Okay, parallel axis theorem. So uh, it's not that hard to be honest. So the so the inertia at A, right? That would give us the, oh, sorry, this is G. So it would be G uh, plus the, well, the distance usually is area, but in this sense would be the mass, right, mass, and times the distance squared. And the distance is the, the distance from the axis to the centroid. And it is the sum of that. We do not need calculator over here, so we can use the uh, sum sign, sigma, I believe. Let's pronounce it. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. So first it would be half times mass, so 0 0.8 times the distance. Let's do this beam over here first, right? The vertical beam. And the length is 0 0.2 uh, squared plus the mass of 0 0.8 and times the distance. So what is the distance from here to the, to the centroid? It's 0 0.1, right? Times uh, 0 0.1 to the power of 2. And since this is the sum, so we plus that and half and this is for the second horizontal beam on the bottom. And that's also times the weight, 0 0.8, fortunately. And the length is also 0 0.2 over to, uh, to the power of 2 plus, and the weight is 0 0.8. And the distance of the centroid to the axis is 0 0.2. 0 0.2 over here. And plug everything into your calculator. In the end, for the moment of inertia about an A axis, you should get 0 0.004533. Uh, three. Round two, three, six fix, 0 0.003453. Uh, meters, millimeters, uh, meters actually. You just translate everything into meters to the power of four. And that's it. Um, this is using the moment of mass of inertia mass of the moment of inertia of a composite shape. Hopefully uh, it was okay. So yeah, um, good luck on your studies and I will see you in my future videos. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.